child, the block is hot and the streets is talking as Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have decided to say peace to deuces to the royal family. Hi guys, thank you for joining me again. You're watching Sandra Said What and I am just going to catch you up on some tea and why I think Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are probably going to end up divorcing. Now, this is not me wishing anything on them. It's just observation and I'll tell you my opinions later. But if you haven't heard, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have decided to leave the royal family. They no longer want to bow down or drink tea, you know, on demand. They want to do their thing. They want to have their own private life. And they're saying, you know what, we're going to work financial freedom although I don't know how much freedom you need when you're already rich but that's above my tax bracket ever so this is a good reminder for all of us you know we don't have to deal with toxic family we don't have to deal with toxic friends we don't have to deal with toxic jobs we don't have to deal with anything that we don't want to put up with and she decided no mas, ya no, no mas I'm not doing this no more and she decided to let go of whatever was not Making her happy was not helping her live her life the way she wanted to. And let that be a great lesson to all of us to be able to let go of things that no longer serve us. So they've decided they no longer want parts of the royal family. Well, in the sense that they have to attend events or um, they have to abide by certain laws and rules and you know even like the type of clothes now she's wearing she's wearing casual everyday people clothing you know driving herself doing her own thing so she, she's basically finessed her way I don't want to say that like it's a bad thing because it's not a bad thing you got to teach me your ways into like a whole princess and she got her wedding done on live TV globally and I think they paid to like redo her mansion, do some kind of reconstruction in it. And she's like, you know what? I know you guys spent all this money. We're going to pay you back. No problem. We're going to work to pay you back. And even her boo thing, the husband, have um, kind of helped her get a job doing voiceover at D Disney. So, you know, they've kind of like planned this out. And Prince Harry, <laughs> I don't know him personally. Most of us don't. But you know, he he's the more impressionable of the two brothers. So I feel like that's kind of why she was able to do that. You know, I I have nothing against it. I applaud women who are know what they want. They plan what they want and she executed beautifully, kind of like Black China did with the Kardashian family. I like women who know what they want and are not afraid to go after it, no matter what people are going to say, no matter or like what the consequences are. You know what you want. If it works for you, it works for you. But I feel like because this is such a huge decision, it's going to cause such a strain on the family because this is all this kid has known his entire life and his family good bad or indifferent is what this is his family and you know nobody wins when the when the family feuds so for him to have left the family maybe not now maybe not a year from now but eventually it's gonna it's gonna cause him to think back he's going to have some kind of epiphany and be like you know what I don't know, maybe I didn't think this through because one, my entire way of life is gone. And secondly, I don't want to hurt my family. Eventually, families, they want to reconcile no matter what happened, no matter how bad it was. Usually, as people grow older, they want to come back to their families and they kind of reminisce or kind to start pondering on what the meaning of life is what you have at the end of, of it all so I feel like once he comes to that realization hopefully they are able to work something out they are able to maintain some kind of amicable relationship not just publicly but privately with the family but most likely if that doesn't happen I definitely see him possibly regretting his decision and getting a divorce I don't wish that for them but 
because again this decision is so monumental it's going to literally be in the history books at least for the English people and you know they already had a problem with Megan um, I don't know her real her actual title let me look up her actual title because people never actually refer to her as her actual title which is very bothersome for me but let me look at the name her title title yeah people never referred to her even before they got married oh it's the Duchess of Sussex because I think they even trademarked it you know people never um, referred to her as a proper title because they always had an issue with the fact that he picked her as his wife for many reasons and y'all know why and people never referred to her that really bo bothered me I think they tra trademarked the title but now I think they've kind of like rescinded the title back to the royal family. And I think even um, the prince, he did some kind of live or some kind of interview um, talking about, you know, he still respects his grandmother. He still loves his family. He still got to participate, but he just want to have his own private life. So hopefully, again, I hope they can work it out and have a great relationship and the family is not so bitter even though I know behind the scenes they, they probably weren't so nice to her that's why she decided you know what I'm done with this even though she probably knew before even marrying him how difficult it was it would be she probably would couldn't imagine how much how much more difficult it would actually be in practice so hopefully even though they might give her a hard time behind the scenes hopefully at some point if that lady dies people can be like you know why she's not here anymore because i feel like she's gonna live she's gonna live longer than everybody even all of us she's gonna outlive us but that's beside the point i feel like you know once she passes people are able to kind of just come to and be like you know what the old way doesn't always have to be the way for our entire existence even though I'm sure they the English people they love having a prince they love having a king they love all of that um, royal family stuff because I think they even did a survey and they if they would rather keep them or kind of get rid of that and they said no they wouldn't they would keep it so hopefully again I hope they can work it out but most likely I do foresee divorce in their future and that is just a D that's just my opinion I don't know what you think you know what you think about that yeah I feel like they're gonna have a really really hard time because family problems are hard just within normal families but when this is not even that just just celebrities playing out in front of the entire world this is the king and queen or prince the princess the Sussex you know the success of duchess or something like that so it's like a lot bigger than not even your average celebrity family feud so that's just my thoughts on it not gonna ra ramble <laughs> not gonna go on any longer but let me know your thoughts don't forget to like comment share subscribe follow me on instagram so i just said what Facebook, Sandra said what? F Twitter, everywhere. Sandra said what? Thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you later. Bye.